and uh, and it's been out of favor in like uh, in my so-called democracy home country for uh, many years. And it's called democ. I mean, it's called no, no, not that word. It's called revolution. Revolution. I think we need a revolution. Um, we need it. We need it yesterday. We need it actually five years ago. Um, I mean, I've only come to this realization in the last couple weeks, I think, that basically, now that we're traveling around and people are filling up rooms, it's time for us to get all, you know, evangelical. <laughs> Seriously, you started to feel like street preachers or whatever, you know, because suddenly we have end times, just like, <laughs> just like all of these sort of rapture movements, you know, these sort of Christians who think that the end is coming, or maybe the Mayans, I mean, the end did come sort of for that civil, that, uh, for the dominance of that civilization, although the Mayans never were defeated by the, uh, by the invading, um, uh, Mexicans that they have it now, but, you know, the Spanish and then the Mexicans. Yeah, there's, there's still, a lot of people there still say they're independent. But basically, they kept fighting. And we're all going to need to fight now because the shit has hit the fan. You know, the scientists say it's too late. We're fucked anyway. But we can hope to hang on. Uh, I mean, there's a war against the young. There is a war against anybody who is under 30. You know, it's... um. Hopefully you can turn to everybody next to you who's older... <laughs> Or just use me instead and say, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! I mean, you can do it in a non-violent and loving way. You can hug them and say, fuck you. Um, I prefer that method. I mean, I want a non-violent revolution to happen now. Because I think that capitalism has become the same as an autocratic regime. It's not leaving us any alternatives. It is, you know, we've put money in the driver's seat and we're letting it continue to drive. And that's pretty fucked up because we know money can't make ethical decisions. Money can't make moral decisions. Money does what it does, it acts on its own. Sometimes it helps people. Sometimes it fucks people up. It definitely is destroying the planet right now. And if we keep letting it, uh, well, you know, I guess we just say goodbye, we, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, of course, we'll keep doing pretty well here in Austria and a few other places for a little while. But in the long run, we're really fucked. And I, I like this place. I mean, this I like this place, but I, the place, I, I, I kind of like the planet. So, um, I mean, I like civilization, too. I'd rather have civilization than not. <laughs> so, um, so there has to be a revolution. I don't, you know, it's worked to fight autocratic regimes in very recent months. Let's fight the new autocratic regime, which is so-called democracy. <laughs> I mean, that's the problem. We don't need revolution for democracy anymore. Because democracy barely exists. This is, <laughs> you know, the Greeks, well, the majority of the, the, of the voting and, thing, and the people who were allowed to vote and were considered humans in Greece at the time, um, didn't think that democracy was about electing people. It was about the lottery, right? Where basically everybody could be selected, no matter how wealthy they were or poor they were. I mean, of course, you had to be a whatever, a non-slave. You had to be a male. So there were some flaws in the system. Yeah. But it was a little bit better than the system that we've got now, where basically money rules. You know, if you, if you have elections, it gets fucked up. Because it means that you very, very rarely are going to have somebody from any class other than the super wealthy being elected to office. And unfortunately, you know, even when they do get elected, somebody like Obama, they have to play the game. They, they end up corrupted, <laughs> necessarily corrupted. And we don't have anything much better. Again, it's just marginally more polite form of global annihilation, what we've got right now with Obama. Now, <laughs> We tried when, I, I think one of the reasons why we're now preaching revolution, we made a decision to go there, is that 
For one thing, it seems more possible after seeing a bunch of regimes topple around the world in recent memory. And another is that all the ideas that we that gave us hope right when we elected Obama in the United States didn't come to pass. We had a lot of plans, and we actually published a fake edition of the New York Times that was basically about um, taking that idea of creating a dream and making it into something that we could put in people's hands all over New York City. And so we, we published 80,000 of these. Of course, we said we were publishing a million, and that seemed believable to the first reporter who reported on it, so it became the number. Um, and these articles were all about what we saw to be possible if people were willing to keep applying pressure to the administration. Because we thought, hey, we've elected a progressive president, former community organizer. This dude understands, and as long as we can keep the pressure on, as long as we can have more pressure, more people power, than corporate power, uh, you know, in his office lobbying, we could get some real change to happen. Well, we know what happened, but I'm still going to show you this fun and optimistic video of handing out the newspaper. It's kind of the last scene in our, in our movie. 